Welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at BQEYZ's Topaz. So Topaz is their latest hybrid. It is a one dynamic driver, which is a 13 millimeter LCP. So quite nice. And one nine layer piezo, which uh, BQEYZ is sort of well known for. This is, they have a series of sets with piezos and this is uh, their latest iteration of it. And maybe the highest layer per dollar, I think. The last time I think they had a nine layer one, I think it was a more expensive set. So that's what sort of makes Topaz a little unique, um, especially in the marketplace that's a little bit crowded at $79, which is what this one retails for. So up close, um, quite nice. Um, shell is, this is the purple version and there's a green version. This is the SPC cable, which is actually quite nice. And this is the back of the shell, which is tinted just a you know hair too dark to really see what's uh, happening on the inside but you know generally just a very nice build quality and i think i wouldn't really expect anything less from bqiz this is actually a better like the last set i had was summer summer was i think more expensive and it and it was more of a plastic build as opposed to having a nicer metal face play with an inset um so yeah quite nice on the build the box itself um, quite nice. It says Topaz on the inside. We get um, a nice carry case and a very nice set of tips as well. So kind of all around nice package. So let's do kind of jump into it and we'll kind of run through this a little quicker than normal because I would call Topaz, you know, it's just a very solid execution of a style that's kind of warm, thick and um, relaxed. If for those of you who have ever tried the Blonde BL03, that's sort of the set that really put the standard on that kind of sound. Very much a warm, very thick mids, very relaxed, non-fatiguing, and um, Topaz is very much in line with that. Um, just a sort of hybrid execution of it with you know more expensive drivers and nicer build quality and all these other things that go along with it. But for those of you who are fans of that style, um, this one pretty much is going to hit you uh, square on. It's a um, very nice execution of it. So it is very much a solid pick in that warm, thick, and relaxed style, like I just said. And I will and I will kind of hit the two main nitpicks right up front. So the bass is just a hair heavy for me. Even in the warm, thick style, I think it's just you know about 2 dB um, just over. If they just bump that down to almost where Autumn was, if you if you ever looked at the BQEYZ Autumn set and looked at the treble um, base shelf, it's about 2 dB less than what Topaz is. And uh, that probably would have hit it almost perfectly for me. This one is going to definitely appeal to people who like a, a slightly more heavier bass, uh, especially sub bass, but um, I would say it would have been better to drop this one 2 dB simply because the treble is also a hair low. And when you kind of combine the two, you end up with this double, doubling up effect of kind of a more bassy, low treble, which isn't probably the best for clarity. But let's take a very quick look at the graph, and you can kind of see what I'm talking about. So instead of autumn, I have summer. So summer was a big, sort of a bigger V-shape. It had more bass than topaz. Autumn's treble was about 2 dB lower than topaz, so you would see a line right here for autumn. But... Generally, if you're familiar with Summer, and that was the last one I had, Summer was a much bigger V-shaped set. So Topaz is definitely more relaxed, but you still have this pretty heavy sub-bass element to it in the bass. Actually, kind of a nice sub-bass or a mid-bass as well. It's still elevated as well. Through the mids, it's going to carry a lot of energy straight into the mids. And then coming up into the gain area, the lower treble area, you're definitely going to see a more relaxed version of what you saw in Summer. And I think even Autumn, I think, was probably in the middle of those two as well. But definitely a more relaxed presentation on Topaz. And it's actually focused right there at, at 2K. That's sort of a female vocal area right there. Those kind of will hit you square right in the face. And then it trails off um, mostly and it kind of rolls off into the upper treble as well. So lots of energy right here, lots of energy right here, and then sort of a downslope of energy as you go up in treble. And that's, that is sort of warm and thick. Um, not, it's a little dark, it's a hair dark, um, but like I said, it's sort of been a little better to bring this down just a hair so it's a little less bassy, 
because you already have a treble that's already sort of in a lower level as well. So, you know, if this was a little bit higher, probably up where summer is, I think the bass levels would have been a little more balanced. But, you know, for me, I just prefer these two to be just a little more uh, balanced and in sync with each other. So that is that. So sound, like I said, it's got this natural, warm, thick, shallow V, um, you know, not all that far from like a blonde BL03 signature. Very natural, warm, thick is is kind of the hallmark of, of the blonde. This one is kind of right along with it. And uh, I'll say forgiving. And, you know, when you look at these, you can sort of, depending on who you are, you see, well, this down loops a little bit more than I was expecting. But then when you listen to music and go on a long term session with your playlist or you want to turn the volume up, you know, I never underestimate the value of a set that's actually forgiving. And no matter what track you throw out, it never really makes you cringe or your eyebrow raise. And I think this one is kind of right there along with, you know, this style. It just tends to be a lot more forgiving with bad recordings. And this one is right there. So I never underestimate the value of that because um, it actually works for me. And I love sets that I can listen to for a long time that don't give me fatigue. And this one certainly has non-fatiguing levels as well. So I think they did kind of nail that that feel of this style set quite well with those three things. So the bass, and I will say, don't let that gentle arc deceive you, even though it looks lower than, say, Summer and other sets. There's actually quite a bit of bass there, and especially when you get a good seal with tips. Um, this is a really kind of a full extended warm style bass uh, with very nice balance of mid and sub bass. It definitely leans a bit deeper into the sub bass than a hard slamming set. So if you're looking for a hard slamming set, a more technical set, more detail in your bass, that's not this style of set. But it is a large driver and it does move quite a bit of air, so it's actually quite nice to listen to. Out of the box, like I said, it's just pushed a little bit more than I would have for the signature, just because I like to hear a little more detail in the bass. And the bass tended to you know, lose a little bit of detail and a little bit of a distraction if the, if the level goes a little bit too high. And it sounds a little faster with a lower level, and it keeps the mids cleaner. So I think there was some benefit to uh, just bringing it down about a couple dB. So a track like Counting Down the Days by Above and Beyond, they're live at the Hollywood Bowl. So this one-minute section, and this that's a track that I pretty much start lots and lots of sets off on because it gives you a good sense of you know sound stage, balance between bass and mids. You know, I've heard it on so many sets that I know what it's supposed to sound like. And on this one, you know, it was really the the motivation for why I said to lower the bass a little bit. Her, The bass comes up to her voice just a little too close. It kind of encroaches right on her voice. And it should be off back on the stage. She's, sitting, she's singing in front of an orchestra. And you want your IEMs to sort of portray that just as that. You know, she's in front, orchestra's in the back. And this one... You know, the two get just a little too close. So just for my preference, I just thought, you know, lowering the bass just a little bit really helps the whole sound of the, and that was sort of the track that I kind of kept on going back to, not only for the bass, but for the mids as well. So like I said, the mids in this style, full, weighty, thick, um, very natural, nice balance um, for detail and resolution in this style. Just remember that this style is not necessarily a technical or analytical style. If you're looking for tons of resolution and detail, that's not necessarily what this style uh, emphasizes or portrays. Um, that's just not what, it's more of a warmer, smoother, thicker, relaxed, uh, chill kind of style. For shallow V, it definitely inherits some of those V characteristics. The bass encroaches on the vocals a little bit, so a little more V, so a little more bleed. The vocals may be a little more recessed, just a little bit. Um, but it does, and like I said, it really reduces the separation and the mid-clarity, and that's why I kind of kept going back to this song. Her voice and how clear it is versus the bass and the separation of the, all the instruments, all that stuff would have been just a hair better with a, a with a hair less bass, and I think it would have helped the mids quite a bit. And then, as I mentioned, the lower treble presents uh, that presence region, about 4K. It also slopes down, and I think that affects the mids sort of in the same way. You just don't have as much separation as you would if those levels were a little bit higher. But the trade-off is you get a super relaxing, non-fatiguing style, which really is what this is. So 
You can certainly clean up both with minor EQ, and I will post those in the description. And that will give you sort of this beautiful transition from the mids to the lower treble just by smoothing that out so it's not so focused at 2K. Um, and that just tends to be a little bit more in the face as opposed to balanced throughout. You know, it's going from 2 to, say, 6K. Um, if you raise this up a little bit, and let's look at this for one second. So if you raise this whole down slope right here, if you actually pop that up to sort of the way Summer does it, where it's more um, as a plateau as opposed to a down slope, you get a nice even transition from all the way here straight across. And uh, that was what I was going with with that, with that line. So the treble, like I said, very polite, non-fatiguing. There's enough level, but where you're expecting to hear that, that nine layer piezo kick in, um, they really rolled it off. So to smooth that transition, I was expecting it to be more like Summer, where there's sort of a hard edge to that transition, and quite noticeable where the piezo is on Summer. On this one, it's almost impossible to hear where the piezo is. I'm sure it's there. I think it's uh, very hard to hear, at least to my ears. But relative re to the rest of the levels and the warm style, I think the treble does work on this style set. Just a warm, relaxed style, and I think the treble level fits. But on its own, if you were just to you know crit critically listen to it, I think um, cymbal tracks like Sonny Rollins, Come Gone, Dave Rubeck's Take Five, they're quite subdued and relaxed in treble and detail and air, all those things that you look for in more, um, say, technical sets or analytical sets, um, looking for more treble detail and air. I think those things are better handled in a different signature. That's not what this one is really about. So stage, uh, out of the box, pretty good. It's not too bad, and, and a lot of it comes down to the upper treble, and you know that tends to make things sound a little wider. So this one does sound okay, considering the treble level. It's actually pretty good, but that 2K can be a little bit too forward, and it tends to flatten out the sound stage just a little bit. And now I think EQ, for me, it definitely pushed it back, and you get a little more depth and more space between notes. Um, a little bit less bass gives you better separation um, and a lower treble boost. So, yeah, I think there's some small things that you can do in EQ to kind of clean up the signature, which is what I did, and I will post those. But as it is out of the box, you know, as far as a great implementation of a warm, thick style set, you know, they pretty much nailed what that is supposed to sound like. So that's a good one. And that's all I got on BQEYZ's Topaz. So again, thank you guys for tuning in and I will see you next time.